this is me and today I will be vlogging because I actually have a show jumping lesson with my instructor so I'm really excited about that because I haven't been to a show jumping lesson or taken Casper out show jumping or anything like that since before Australia and probably before I went to the US as well so it's been quite a few months since then be interesting to see what we do with Casper I think um, we're gonna do something small but technical because obviously I don't want to like whack up the fences super high when we haven't jumped for a while I feel like every time I jump I'm literally like guys don't don't like you know judge my riding too much we haven't jumped for a while but literally we haven't jumped for a while so don't judge my riding so yeah that should be super fun today getting back into the swing of things because now it's January it's like the end of all kind of like the horse shows it's gonna be really nice just spending some time at home filming with the animals doing loads of vlogs because you guys have requested more vlogs so here they're coming um, as well as other super exciting fun videos that I can't tell you about yet um, but anyway so I just need to get the horses breakfast ready it's actually a little bit later than I usually give their breakfast usually when I give it to them it's still dark outside however I gave them night nets last night about 10 o'clock so they can stay in a little bit longer and get their breakfast a little bit later today because I thought you know what I'm gonna film me getting their breakfast ready so then you guys can see it so yeah let's get their breakfast done good morning boys <laughs> good morning are you ready for your breakfast also both boys are so muddy right now like Mickey hey yawning boy What's all this mud on the side of your neck? <laughs> and then Caspi is the same as well. Hey, let everybody see, let everybody see. Oh my goodness. Your mane needs a bit of a sort out as well, doesn't it, bub? Yeah, you're both so mucky. <laughs> anyway, shall I get your breakfast then, Mick? Yeah. <laughs> made Mickey and Casper's food it's now time to go and give the donkeys their breakfast and I thought I'd talk about this because I know so many people in the comments will ask but they'll be like Esme why is Toby's bucket now orange and not yellow so Toby's yellow bucket um, eventually has come to the end of its life um, it broke so I got him a new one and I thought you know what it's 2020 <laughs> new year new bucket so I thought I'd go for an orange one because Toby's head collar is actually orange and when I made my sort of first intro it had the yellow bucket and that's because the old buckets that I used to have they used to not be able to do orange ones they used to only be able to do yellow so that's why I went for the yellow even though I don't know I, don't, I kind of see Toby's color as like an orangey yellow so I thought you know what I'm, I need to get a new bucket for him. Why don't I go for a new colour? So, Toby is now orange. <laughs> I just thought that, you know, it looked really nice because the pink and the red and the orange, it just kind of goes so nicely together. I kind of see the donkeys as warmer colours because they're kind of more browns and blacks. And then I kind of see the horses stuff as being more cooler colors, so the blues and the purples and the greens. So that's kind of what I've gone for for now. And um, yeah, let me know if you approve of the orange bucket or if you're upset that I've changed the color. Good morning, donkeys. Hello, Mr. Bruno. Hello. Hello, Mr. Toby. Would you like your breakfast? Toby, would you like your breakfast? I think that's a yes. <laughs> Poor Toby, he can't bray, so literally like, kind of, sounds like he's got asthma or something, but he just can't bray. Like this is the noise that comes out of his mouth, bless him. I don't know if I've talked about this, but we actually have a new gate here for the donkeys. The old one had been there for longer than I've been alive, and it was so rusty and old, so they've now got a nice new one, but. Hey Toby, oh my 
my goodness, your brain is so precious. And then <laughs> look how muddy it is here. We've had so much rain and the donkeys love standing here, pacing up and down here, waiting for their breakfast, for their dinner, everything. They get so impatient. As soon as it gets dark in the evenings, they're like, give me my food. <laughs> yes, Toby. Okay, breakfast is coming. are enjoying their breakfast. I've just got Willow here in the stable. Um, I like to shut her in just because her food does contain medicine and obviously we don't want Bruno or Toby coming along and eating that. So while she's just you know finishing off that I might just pick up a few poos that are in their stable. Their stable also needs some new shavings. Um, it's a little bit on the um, thin side at the moment so I've got the lovely job of walking all the way over here in the mud with a massive heavy bale of shavings. <laughs> sweeping up the donkey stable and this little one here is literally like my shadow she doesn't like to leave me whenever I'm doing the mucking out or anything like that she just doesn't leave she's always by my side and just likes to watch me whatever I'm doing I think she just finds it really interesting so yeah now she's finished her breakfast she can go out like when I was mucking out and everything she had the choice to go out if she wanted to even though she'd finished her breakfast but no she just likes to stay in here with me so Hey Wills, oh you're so sweet. Hey chickies. We've also recently moved the chickens over. Well I say recently, you haven't seen it on the vlog but it was actually quite a while back. So this is where they used to be. And it kind of ended up looking like a mud patch. So we moved them onto some fresh grass. However this bit here is probably the muddiest just because it's near the gate and they always like to stand here. when they think they're gonna get food so. Hey chicks, it's time to let you out of your little coopy. It's so windy. Hello! Hey Snickers! But yeah, as you can see, over in this corner there is a lot more grass. Hey! You're all scratching around. It's also time to collect the eggs. Um, Mickey? Yeah, you. Why is your bucket out here? You don't know? You don't know why your bucket is out here? Was that you that put your bucket out here? No? I'm sh yeah? Yeah, it was you that put your bucket out there. Hey? Yes? <laughs> so I did a poll on my Instagram story the other day if any of you guys' horses do this or horses that you ride or know. Because every single day when I give Mickey his breakfast, when he's finished, he just dumps his bucket out on the concrete. He's like, nope, out of my stable you go. I don't know if he's either asking for more or he's like, nope, I'm done now. Let me out. I want to go out in the field. So, time to let you out in the field then. He's so fluffy this time of year as well. Like, look at all that floof. Oh, no, you cannot eat my camera. 
Sorry, Floof. So now I've mucked out the donkey's stable, I need to get this bag of shavings all the way <laughs> to their field. And if you didn't know, the donkey's field is like all the way up there. And it's a really long walk in the mud. Also, the sand school is there, if you're wondering. But yeah, they're all the way down there and then all the way up there as well. So it's going to be a long, heavy walk in the mud with this. <laughs> Hey Bruno. Oh, hello there Toby. Have you come to inspect the package? You've got a delivery. Yeah, you got a shavings delivery. Ta da It has arrived. <laughs> the only problem that I've just realised is that I forgot to bring the knife with me. So I've got to spread the shavings without being able to get into it. So I really don't want to walk back to the stables where the horses are, so I'm just gonna try and rip open with my bare hands and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Right, so the stable now has shavings and it just looks so cozy and fluffy to lie down on so there probably could be a little bit more shavings in the donkey stable but because it's more kind of like a field shelter it's kind of to come in here let their legs dry off from the mud there is rubber mats so they're nice and soft to lie down on as well the shavings are literally just there for absorbency so um, also I don't like to put too much in as well because it's kind of like a field shelter and the doors are open it does mean that sometimes if the shavings shavings are pulled all the way back it just blows out the door and that's just a waste of money literally flying out the door so um, I just find this works best for the donkeys and um, yeah they seem to like it so. so yeah I just kind of find shavings like this work better for the donkeys so now the donkey stable is all mucked I need to go over and do the horses I probably won't film that because if not this whole vlog will literally just be mucking out and um, I know you guys like that but I just don't want it to get too repetitive and boring with the vlogs so now I'm gonna go and get Casper ready and then it'll be our lessons so I'll see you when I'm writing it's a Monday kind of feeling on a Tuesday afternoon I can hear Wednesday calling but then Thursday comes too soon and by Friday I'm ready for a Saturday affair cuz on Sunday I'll be happy the afternoon is here it's a Monday kind of feeling on a Tuesday afternoon I can hear Wednesday calling but then Thursday comes too soon and by Friday I'm
Let the afternoon keep us here It can keep us here 